Dale brothers have put the clues together, and they think they know where the entrance to the Pete and Joe number five mine is buried. If they're right, they'll be just 65 feet away from Oli's gold. Now it's time to dig, but the trail to the number five was built for pack mules, not excavators. We have to build a, a new section of road that takes us up the mountain to number five. Everything we need or are going to need is gonna have to be hauled up there. To do the job, the Dales bring on their first contractor. Marty Saluso is an old friend. He was in my graduating class in 1976. He's worked in and around big mines, old mining operations, reclamation, all kinds of things. He knows how to get things done for being almost 74, the way he can work. He'll work you right into the ground. Marty's good on that hoe, but he's gonna have to be quick on it too. We've got a lot of work in front of us. Marty sets a fast pace. It's late October, and winter can arrive with a vengeance as early as September here. The last place he wants to be when that happens is 9,000 feet up on the side of a mountain. It's really worrying me. I'm gonna be the one that has to walk this and all my machinery down when the snow hits. It could snow six feet. Then I'm in a world of I got a machine I'm paying for, and I can't even get it out of here. So I'm hoping we can get in and knock out the portals and get out of here before we get too much. Hold up, Marty! Holy cow, Marty, look at that. <laughs> it's big, you're, you're right. it's big. That wind must have scooted down through here. And... And look at this mess down here. Look at that, took out another tree and went clear down the hill. Wow. Well, I'll start cutting it. All right, let's do it. Paul Dale. So I was born July 11 of 1954 and I am fourth in the lineup. When you're number four and you have three older brothers that can be pretty strong-willed, you learn to get along and learn to when to keep your mouth shut. Rick's definitely an alpha male, especially in his younger years. I would say John's the peacemaker. Tad's a good organizer and Kit He's kind of family historian, and he's pretty technical. The chance to work together to try to do something and, and actually have it come to fruition, that's the exciting part for me. Let's have a celebration over it, huh? Should we break some champagne? Let's go get some whiskey from camp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going back to work. While Marty presses on towards Oldie's gold, the Dale brothers set their sights on phase two of their long-term plan. Oldie's gold is, a, is an immediate target, but we've got to be looking down the road and the B&H tunnel gives us the opportunity to access the ore body all the way through the mountain. The Dales are convinced that a feeder system of gold runs vertically through the mountain. The B&H runs 2,500 feet and is connected to the mines above through passages within the mountain, making it the most efficient place to mine the deep ore. Gravity always works. If we develop the bigger ore body that we know is there, that would be the easiest haulage level to bring everything out on. Okay, 
They're opened up and we'll see what we got in there. Hey, what is this? I didn't expect this. The tunnel is almost completely full of ice. Well, I would say the B&H is more of a refrigerator than it is a 2,500-foot drift right now. When we were younger, there was an ice in this tunnel. As a teenager, I remember going clear back around the corner here. The ice has been building up there for a number of years. That's a tough problem to solve, in some ways even worse than rock. We need to get that ice out of there because we're going to need to get in there in the future. Well, that was an interesting journey. That looked pretty scary. We, we've got our work cut out for us. We really going to have to do some engineering here and going to have to put some real labor into this to find what we need out of this mountain.